devotion is based on Psalm 8, verses 3 and 4. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of him? Human beings that you care for them. Today is May 1st. One of the tradi traditions that they say is dying out is that of a May basket. It's hanging a basket of fresh flowers on someone's door, usually anonymously. That might be the only way to do it when you're quarantined. I'm guessing that most people would appreciate such a gesture. It's an indication that someone is thinking about them and someone cares about them. In a devotion, by the way, published back in April of 2008, the author said he was intrigued by a gift. It was a little box that gave off various sounds. The one that intrigued him the most was the sound of applause. The suggestion was that any time a person around you did something right or fantastic, you would hit the applause button and the machine would make a sound just like a concert full of very approving people. Everyone needs positive approval, the most, and most people are starved for it. But the truth is, you won't always get it from your spouse, your parents, your boss, your children. That's why this text means so much. The psalmist doesn't ask if God cares for him or is mindful of him. He asks, why you do. This Sunday's epistle says some wonderful things about you. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. That is not what we might be or could be or will be. It's what we are. It is due only to God's grace. He is the one who deserves the applause. To make clear that he cares about you and that you are on his mind, God did not send flowers, candy, or an applause box. He sent his son to suffer, to die, and to rise for you. I know that in the midst of this pandemic, people appreciate a call, a gift of food, or toilet paper, but most of all, I think they appreciate the fact that someone is thinking about them. Nothing could be more meaningful than the knowledge that God cares about you and you are on his mind. We pray. Dear God, thank you for sending your son to die for our sins. There is nothing more encouraging than the forgiveness he has provided. Help me to encourage those around me so that they know they are loved by me and by you. In Jesus' name, amen.